Hello, this is Chill Computer Guy. Today we're going to talk about creating parallel channels. Now, the best way I have found to do this is to use something called an audio receiver. Now, I've had a tutorial about this in the past, and I was a little bit confused on how to do this. There's nothing I like to utilize more than parallel channels. I love the idea of a parallel channel. Now, with the audio receiver device, it actually makes it quite easy to create a parallel channel. Now normally I thought you would go in your ins and outs and then you would send this channel over to here and send both these to the master but I have found that if you take this and go to track one uh, that doesn't seem to to work. So basically what we have here is we have a track and on this track we have a sampler and then we have the parallel track and if we click over to there we have an audio receiver and under the input we have selected track one pre. Now the difference between selecting pre and post has to do with if you want to just hear the parallel track. If we select pre and turn this down all the way we're hearing just the effect, which is the reverb. And so on the left, we have the dry signal, and on the right, we have the wet signal. Now, if you go to post, if this if this is turned down, you're not going to get any thing coming in here. Turn this off. Let's just go ahead and delete this all together. And then you put under your input, you put track one pre. That's not going to work. So that's the big difference. So that's where I was confused with before. I'm going to go ahead and control Z all this. Bring that audio receiver back. And so by using this and setting it to pre, you get two totally separate channels. Here's your dry signal. 100% wet and then of course you can mix between the two. And that's basically how you create parallel channels. You have to use the audio receiver. Please like the video, please comment on the video, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks again. We'll see you next week.